My name is Sunil Fernandez and I'm the associate editor for goodreturns.in. Uh, today we'll talk a little bit more on uh, the two depositories that we have in India. One is the central depositories and uh, the other is the national depositories. What do depositories actually do? Depository, when you have shares, uh, the depositories hold the shares on behalf of you. There are no certificates like they used to be before. So the depositories will hold your shares for you. Now, when the depositories hold your shares for you, uh, essentially, what do you get holding shares? You get dividends, you get rights issue. Now, when uh, the company needs to pay shareholders dividend, the uh, depositories will uh, give a list of the shareholders and the company will take a, a look at the shareholders and with their bank account and stuff and pay depository, uh, pay dividends to the shareholders. Now, in India, basically, there are only two depositories who hold their shares for you. One is the central depositories and the other is the National uh, Securities Depository, also called NSDL. Uh, for the sake of this uh, video, let's call them as CDSL and NSDL. Now, CD, the difference between CDSL and NSDL is nothing much. Both hold their shares. It's just be, uh, basically the difference is in the owners. Uh, the central depository is owned by the Bombay Stock Exchange and the National uh, Securities Depository is owned by the uh, uh, National Stock Exchange. Uh, in terms of where do you open an account at the NSDL or the CDSL, uh, largely the choice will not be uh, made by you. Uh, it's the broking firm, like let, let's say for an example, you open an account with say Sher Khan. Uh, Sher Khan will probably decide whether you should open with uh, CDSL and NSDL. And really investors don't bother where the account is opened. They, they get the service from Sher Khan, for example. They are not really bothered whether you open with NSDL or CDSL. And really speaking, you shouldn't be bothered as an investor where your account is open because uh, the rates are the same, the charges are the same, and uh, the bulk of the transactions happen, uh, you know, for example, debiting your uh, account when you sell the shares uh, is done in a similar manner. So really uh, speaking, there is no difference where you open an account. It's not like a bank account. Uh, that you would prefer a government bank to a private bank because in a government bank if you have you can keep only up to 1000 rupees and you won't be charged as for not maintaining your balance and things like that so there's really no concern here you don't have shares in your account also there's no charges and stuff the uh, maintenance charges are charged by the uh, broking firm the broking firm probably will decide whether you should open in cdsl or nsdl based on what charges are levied by these depositories uh, with the broking firm. So it's really actually speaking, there's no much difference between the two and you can make a choice either CDSL or NSDL. At the moment, we have just two depositories in the country. If you have any comments regarding the article or any of your inputs that will uh, enrich the article further, you can write to us uh, uh, in the comment box that's available below. Also, you can subscribe to our videos. Uh, there's a button there and uh, which you can view and subscribe to videos so you get the videos straight.